Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is kind of going to be another informal vlog video um, because I still don't have my camera. All I need to do really is check if I've got a memory card because it could be that that is making the camera not work. Um, I think my camera is in here, I might just actually quickly look whilst I think about it. Yeah, I can't find it <laughs> so I don't know where it is. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking my slippers off, get a bit comfier. Um, yeah, so my camera is still a bit of a no-go. So I'm on my phone at the moment, so hopefully you can hear me. Like I'm sat fairly close. Um, but yeah, anyway, I might have to turn up the volume. So I just really wanted to really talk about Arthur because I'm coming to you with a now three-year-old. So Arthur's had his birthday last week. Um, and honestly, like it's just a bit crazy. I can't believe that he is now three and... So this just seemed like really the perfect chance to, well, I wasn't going to do it originally, um, but kind of a bit of, I want to talk to you about the fact he's now three, but also his three year update, maybe just do a little bit of that because ever since he was born or from three months, I was doing monthly updates. I did like year, 15 months, 18 months, and then two years. And honestly, I didn't think I was going to do any more, but I don't know. I just thought you might find it interesting. And I always get a bit nervous about doing updates because I feel like it's an, I don't know I don't want people to think I'm doing it because I want to say like how amazing he is or anything and obviously I think he is amazing but you know it's not about that it's more you know when you like meet someone that's got a child similar age to you and like you know you're talking and you say oh yeah like mine does that oh yeah mine doesn't like doing that either and it's just yeah I don't know it's just quite like interesting so I hope you get some of that Anyway, but yes, so he is three and I don't know what it is, but this birthday in particular, I was a lot more emotional, not even on the day itself. It was more the night before. I don't know. So he hadn't had a sleep, um, which I do need to do like a full video about that maybe sometime. But I'll, yeah, I'll maybe speak about that in a minute. But yeah, he hadn't had a sleep in the day. So he was very tired. Is that bag irritated? It's irritating me. I can like see it. It's basically a bag of clothes that um I don't know either to like to sell or charity I'm not sure but it's clothes I don't need um is it bugging you there <laughs> I just like see it as like random things anyway um and I've had to close the curtains because it's too bright it's like a patch of sunlight there um but yeah so hopefully it's not like too dark anyway yeah so the night before we were in here um and he was obviously very tired usually what we do we get him dressed in here he just as part of his routine he always has like a breastfeed and then we go into our bedroom where we get him to sleep like we read to him and eventually he'll go to sleep feeding again but because he was so tired when he had this like feed like he normally does in here he fell asleep just with me holding him in here and then I had to like try and get him in there which I did without him waking up um and I thought he would because he does do that sometimes um when he hasn't had to sleep like he'll fall asleep in here like he doesn't make it um but anyway, yeah, so he'd fallen asleep and I was obviously like holding him and I don't know, I just felt like really emotional. I was just like looking down at him and thinking like, how can you be three tomorrow? Like how, how has he been here this long? And it's really weird because it's gone so fast and literally like, I know I've said this before, but since being a mum, like the time just goes, like I've never known time to go as fast as it does since I've had Arthur it's just really really gone quickly and yeah I was thinking that but it's also but also it's weird because you can't imagine a time without them like when we see photos it's really weird that he wasn't there then if that makes sense I'm actually gonna move that back sorry because it keeps catching my eye sorry I could just because like the camera's like this side I could just like it was like I was talking to the camera um is that a bit better is that a bit better I don't know um anyway yeah so yeah, but it's, yeah, so we look at photos and think, wow, it's really weird that there was a time he wasn't here. But anyway, yeah, so I was just looking at him and I just, like, could feel the tears come into my eyes. And I don't know, maybe it's something about three. I think maybe it sounds much less, like, babyish, do you know what I mean? And you know, obviously, after that, it's going to be four and five. And those years just sound, yeah, you're just, you're just getting further and further away from being a baby. And... Do get me wrong, I don't want to, I'm not saying, I know, short, so I'm, I just imagine some people are watching this thinking, oh, you know, you just want to baby him forever, whatever, which, you know, you kind of do, don't you? But um, it's not that, I mean, you kind of do, yeah, it's just, you just want every 
stage two slow down I just want time to stop going so fast that's all really <laughs> um because it just it just is going quickly and I suppose like I can see him now like he is growing up like the things that he's doing and saying um it's just a lot different isn't it to like I don't know like I think when they're age two you can kind of still it's like they are still babies in the way you know because they're still so young um but they're just not so young anymore I think they are infants class as infants until they're three which does make me feel a bit better um but yeah anyway I was very uh emotional it wasn't like you know full-on sobbing it's not that sort of crying is it it's just that like the tears just like fall silently sort of thing and just thinking oh like it's so precious and also these I think these moments and these like early years are so precious and I know like I'm really appreciative that I am obviously lucky like I don't work as such like I have like you know small bits of income like from here from YouTube and other things but obviously mainly you know I'm just like a stay-at-home mum so I'm with him all the time but then I also get some mum guilt because it's like oh you know am I making like the most of it because each day just like you know rolls into the next one um but yeah I mean I try and obviously make the most of it but anyway yes so it was a bit emotional but yeah so he had a nice day so the weekend before we saw family we had like it wasn't a party but we had my parents around on um the Saturday and that's when you know we I've done like one of like his banners and balloons and stuff which he really loved so yeah we did that and then we saw uh, Matt's parents the next day um and then on Arthur's birthday we knew well I think originally we were gonna go to some sort of like animal attraction we thought that might be the best thing if we asked Arthur though he would just say he wants to go to a park somewhere obviously any animal attraction usually does have some sort of play area so we were just going to do that but then like on the day we just were like quite slow getting ready obviously he had all his presents to open and we were like we're not going to get out anywhere for like a full-on day trip but also we just thought it might be good to just do something quite small so that he could like come back and play with his toys essentially um so yes so we just in the end if you are near if you're anywhere near like me sort of bristol bath way you might have heard of bath park um which is well the kind of proper name for it is royal victoria park but it's really nice so it's like a park as in lots of green areas loads of trees like a really big area it goes on to the royal crescent which is nice uh not that we saw that it's got botanical gardens it's got a pond and of course it's got like the play area park bit which is really big it's really spaced out but it's really really good size um so yeah that was obviously like the main events we just went there for a couple of hours saw the duck pond we did have a little walk in the botanical gardens which was nice um yeah so it's quite like a laid back day but he didn't sleep that day either no surprises there he was too like preoccupied with playing with his new presents um all his new toys but yeah I think he had a nice birthday we did his birthday cake then in the evening and everything was like Thomas related if you saw my last video you would have seen it everything was like Thomas the Tank Engine related so yeah so in terms of Arthur now that he's three like what he's doing and things like that I was thinking actually I did have like because I write it down um like on my phone month to month always has done always have done this whole time like of new things that he's saying or doing um right from when he was really young so um but it's on my phone and I'm filming on it so I can't see it so I'll just have to you know I'm not going to like say loads and loads but yes the main you know a big thing about Arthur that amazes me mainly is his memory like he's got such a good memory like he remembers so much and some things he says I'm like how do you know that like how do you remember that um yeah but yeah really really good memory you know like I don't know I, I guess it's helped him to learn like numbers um and everything like that uh he knows so his like number one thing which I've said loads of times is uh Thomas the Tank Engine and Trains but he knows you know on the back of the books there's like I don't think I've got any here um there's like lots and lots of trains and he'll just like reel off all the names he knows them um which is amazing but yeah he loves it and he loves his train track still so he has now got three I think I said in my last vlog he's got the wooden one which he's had since he was quite young and then he's got two Thomas ones which we bought one for, was that Christmas yeah we bought one for Christmas and um his grandparents bought another one for Christmas and they're both like Thomas ones 
but yeah, that's his like number one thing to play with still, um, and like books, he loves Thomas books, and reading he does still really like as well. I suppose one thing that he doesn't do as much at the moment, and I guess it's all just like, you know, I'm sure he will at some point, he doesn't tend to do much or want to do like much colouring in stuff um, at the moment, which is fine. He also, you know you get those like numbers or letters where it's like always like dot to dot and you then like it kind of helps them to get to write. So recently he's not really been wanting to do that but then he was bought a chalk one um which was quite cool and that like and as soon as he got it he was oh yeah like he wanted to do that and then that's kind of like made him want to do it not like normally with pencils and stuff so that's really good so yeah he's obviously like practicing that he knows how to spell his name um which is really good um what else is he doing it's just like the funny things he says really which i'm sure you know like toddlers do like the things they come out with you can't say anything without you know him like trying to copy it so you do have to watch what you say he loves saying um <laughs> i think it's something that i say like so you know when you drop something i might say i might say oh bum like that and uh, so he's got that from me it's not it's better than a swear word obviously so he'll say like oh bum sometimes and he says it in the right context as well <laughs> it's really funny he always always says he wants a snack well he'll say like i need a snack and it's like no you know you need your proper tea um yeah he'll say that um he loves to say like these little like things that he's picked up like easy peasy lemon squeezy i think we must have taught him that he's learned don't be daft i think that's from he always says that percy says which is from thomas the tank engine so i don't know if it's like something because he does watch it from time to time if it's something he's seen on the program or if it's in a book i think it's in a book somewhere where percy says don't be daft so yeah he likes to say that too um brushing teeth though is fine i think because he's got a bit older now and he really i think i don't know i don't know i think he's just i mean he does still watch we do still um play youtube for it so uh, that does still help um but you know i've i spoke about this i did a mum hacks video i if you're a toddler is still struggling with brushing their teeth you feel like you've tried everything i did do a video where i spoke about everything that we tried um so some of those tips might help you if, if it's still a struggle for you but I, yeah it's awful when they don't brush their teeth but yeah he's good he's really good with that now um but he does watch youtube still for it so we do give him those like a few minutes of that every morning and night just to make sure we get them brushed another thing that he is really into playing with is kind of anything like role play you know like he'll pretend to be a postman or he'll pretend to go shopping or he'll pretend to like you know maybe like work in a cafe or he'll give us cups of tea and cake things like that um he really enjoys that and he enjoys like having he's got like a, a toy house here he likes playing with that like you know like little figures and he'll just sometimes he will just sit and play by himself and that's definitely like i know it's a whole year but since his last update you know since he was two this like past year being able to just like play independently which is kind it's kind of i feel like at this age now and you know it has been for the past however many months like it is kind of a new i don't know era is probably a bit of a strong word but you know it is like things are different now where he will just sit i mean it might not be for long and he does like us to play with him so i might be in the kitchen like putting some clean washing on the um area or something and you know he might have been playing fine by himself but then like after a few minutes he'll want to come and get me which is fine but yeah definitely like it's more so and in the mornings you know he will come in here and like he'll be happily like playing with he's got some trains and some toys up here and then i can just like go and get ready myself and he's not like calling out to me which yeah going back however many months ago obviously it's not really possible so if that's it's yeah so that's quite nice you know that he can kind of like occupy himself a lot more now um but I do still like him, you know, yeah, when he says play with me, I do still like it when we come and play with him because I just think how much longer we've got left of him doing that, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything important for his update, hold on. Yes, I know what I wanted to say about his sleep, didn't I? So I might do a whole other video about this um, and like breastfeeding as well. So obviously I've talked about that, so he is still breastfeeding, it is definitely less now and I think he like places less importance on it, you know, like I think if he's hungry and wants food, like you know where sometimes he would always want a bit of milk first or i don't know and sometimes he'd get distracted like i don't know i don't know i just think he he does want a few less feeds i would say over the course of 24 hours he does still wake up at night maybe like once or twice for a feed which is 
fine um we're still co-sleeping so he is in our bed still he sleeps next to me and yeah in terms of his sleep which i've sort of touched on recently really i do think he is coming up to the point now where I don't know, yeah, where maybe he's not needing a nap. I think he still does at the moment, but I think that time is getting nearer and he can like last for longer periods. So before the days where he didn't nap, he'd really be struggling. I know he napped a couple of times, but he'd be really struggling. And you know, you know when they're like playing and he was just like getting upset at everything, you know, a train would go off the track and he'd be really upset, or I don't know, you drop something and he'd be really upset. Whereas now it's not like that so much so yeah i do think we're coming up to that point um but i'm not and it's obviously obviously he does still nap on me um like he goes to sleep breastfeeding as well so yeah so that's kind of the situation so i might do like a full video about that another time because i just feel it otherwise this one's gonna be too long and i feel i could be talking about that for ages um i don't want to be to be too long but yeah i think that's everything for his updates i mean there's other loads of like you know clever things he does cute things he does um which i could tell you but i don't know i guess one thing i don't know i don't know if it's a bit of like um well, what's the word like you know attachment like where if he thinks one of us is going he'll be like oh like when he's going to sleep he'll say hi mummy sometimes just to make sure that i'm there or there's been a couple of times where like me and we've gone somewhere as a family we've parked and then like matt's gone to like maybe check a parking meter or something and Arthur's like call a night to him or just to make sure he's there or if we're walking around somewhere um and he can't see one of us he'll be like oh you know say like hi daddy hi daddy dad you know just to make sure that we're there um yeah which is quite sweet and he's quite funny because he'll be like running and walking and all of a sudden he'll just like crouch on the floor and be like I'm worn out and he just wants to be picked up um which is fine um but he's also a bit be better like going in his pram now um we still got a pram like because we've still got the one it lasts until he's three so obviously we will need like a proper buggy some people just call it a buggy now, don't they? But I say pram still. But yeah, he is a bit better going in it now, I think, because he knows when he's a bit tired. And we do say, like, we can't, because obviously he's quite heavy and big now, we can't carry him for too long. Um, If it's just me, I don't take out the pram. But if it's all of us, we do take it. Um, But yeah, yeah, he will go in it, like, much easier. There was a phase where, like, he really didn't want to go in it. But yeah, so anyway, this video is probably going to be really long. So sorry, hopefully it's not too rambly, but I hope that you found it interesting. And yeah, let me know if you've got any questions where your nearly, maybe nearly three-year-old or just turned three-year-old is at. Um, I've been playing with some nappy cream and I've got a bit of my fingers. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Also, if you are like sentimental like me about birthdays, although like I say, I definitely found this one harder for some reason than the rest. Um, weirdly and didn't expect it but yeah I'm, I'm gonna do an Instagram post about that so yeah follow me on there if you'd like to and yes let me know how you're feeling if you've got a child a similar age to me in the comments below but thank you so so much for watching if you have clicked on this and you're not subscribed or you're new to me then I would love for you to to subscribe um yeah please do so and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye everyone